Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. I want to show you how to take footage, video you shot during the day, and make it look like you shot it at night. Why am I showing you this? Well, I'm showing it first off using HitFilm. It's free software to download. So this is how you can do it for free. If you're a uh, videographer or if you're a student and you want a night shot, here's how you can do it for free. You don't have to pay for anything. Secondly, a lot of people like to shoot shots at night because they want footage that looks like it was recorded at night but the problem with that is it looks well you can get a lot of grain and noise and artifacting and depending on the type of camera and lenses you're running sometimes you won't pick up all the details so it's sometimes better to actually shoot it during the day when you can get everything and then apply some special effects to it and make it look like you shot it at night, which is what I've done here. This is using free software, don't mind you. So uh, there's a little bit more blue in this than I would probably like, but uh, this is just to give you an idea. And on the left side here, you'll see that this was shot during the day. Here she is just with her head out the window. So let me show you how I did this and we'll actually take out some of the blue to make it a little more believable. So let's just start from scratch like I like to do. Okay, the first step, drag and drop in some footage on a video track one like I've done here. I'm going to click no on this because I'm using 4K footage and HitFilm Express applies a watermark if you use 4K uh, footage and you don't uh, have a paid version. So uh, just keep that in mind. So I just transformed it so that it fits to frame. Okay, now we want to go ahead and start making some adjustments to make this day shot look like it was shot at night. We're going into the effects. Now I'm going to tell you right now they've got a, um, a color grading option that's called day for night. But when I apply it, I'll be honest with you, it's just not that good. And you can't really make the level of adjustments that you would need to make this look believable. So I'm going to go ahead and Command Z or Control Z and undo that. But I do want you guys to know that it's there if you really want to try it. And I have considered it. Okay, all of that aside, let's get cracking. The first step is we're going to apply a curves adjustment layer to the video like I'm doing here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to drag and drop that on there and you're going to see that it has a whole bunch of different options including the standard RGB curve which is red, green, blue and then of course you can break it down into individual channels which we may have to do because again the blue tends to get a little bit over done in this type of video. Um, that said, let's go ahead. We're using the RGB curve here. We'll look at the curve here and then this is what you basically need to do. The, the curve has Shadows on the left side, mid, you know, in the middle, it's, um, and then it's highlights at the top. So, you know, it's kind of like your mids, you got your shadows, your mids, and your, your highlights. Generally speaking, you want to take the, sh you want to take your shadows down because you want it to look darker at night. And we're just going to slowly bend this curve a little bit, but we're leaving the highlights, uh, not too much adjustment there because we want the bright, we want to have that nice contrast where you can see her colors. And you can see her nice bright look. However, you can tell that it was shot at night. So that's how I would adjust the curve to start. Let's go ahead and start adding in some more effects. The second one we're going to apply is called color temperature. This is the this gives it the dark, scary shot at night look. And generally, all night footage has a blue cast to it. So it applies, we get a blue look. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply that. And then we're going to adjust the temperature to give it that neat little blue look. Now watch as I do this. You'll see here if I go left, this means it's basically shot in daylight. And it, this is we're basically just changing the uh, color temperature in Kelvins. But if you move it to the right, you'll see that it begins to take on a bluish cast or a bluish tinge. That means it was shot at nighttime generally. So the bluer the look the more nighttime it tends to be. So just keep that in the back of your head. So we've gone ahead now and adjusted it. For us, we're going to go with 6660 Kelvin. Okay, good. So those are the first two effects. Now let's keep thinking about what we want to do here. I want to go ahead and adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness a little bit as well. So this is not a requirement. You can see that we're pretty much already there. But again, if we want to go a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole, we can. If we apply that, nothing happens right off the bat. But what I like to do is I like to go into the blue. And in the blue, we can adjust it to get a little bit of the more blue or less blue. That's not the one, pardon me. We can desaturate it a little bit or we can supersaturate it. I prefer to desaturate a little, as you can see here, because it's just taking away a little bit of that too much of the blue look. And again, you can also adjust the shift here, but we're not going to do that. So basically what I like to do, like I said, is we're just going to basically take down the saturation a little bit. 
And that is how you go ahead and create a day shot to make it look like you shot it, not in the middle of the night, but getting close to evening, sun's out, that type of look. Guys, thanks for watching. And remember, you can adjust this to, if you need it to be darker or lighter, adjust it as you see fit. But those are the variables you can adjust. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.